commentary blue commentary burgundy burgundy commentary Com comment blue commentary comment burgundy blue commentary blue commentary I mean, on behalf to speak of the Pablo's Bond Calf, as many of y'all may know, I'm the head security guard up there. And that's my life. Like, that's the only thing I got right now. Mm -hmm. Like, Pablo's pulled me out the streets. Mm -hmm. It kept me from being out here hustling, selling drugs, doing all this other stuff. It pulled me out the street and gave me an honest living. Mm -hmm. It helped me send my son to prom just a couple of months ago. It brings revenue to the hotel because I'm staying in the hotel right now. As of 11 o'clock tomorrow morning, I have nowhere to go. I have no vehicle to move my things out. With this business being closed, it totally shot my life. Like, I'm 47 years old. Well, I'm the right. It's not much that I can do. And Pablo gave me a chance, as well as other employees that's here that we work for Pablo's. Like, I stand on Pablo's with an iron fist. I keep people from hanging out in the lot. I keep people from out and drinking in the lot. As anybody know anywhere, whether it's a, a, a bar, a club, a gas station, a restaurant, it's going to be some form of violence somewhere. But we stand on top of it to eliminate the violence. It may turn into an argument, but we defuse it to keep it from turning into fights and shootouts. It has been situations that happen at Pablo's, but nothing dramatic, nothing while I was there. Nothing while I was there. When I became the head of security guard, all of that stopped. All of that stopped. When people go out in the lot, it's hard for us to control that because we're not officers. If I go out in the lot and I get into it with somebody in the lot, then I'm just as much as wrong as they are. But we exit them out the building and make people leave the building. Like that, that brings everything to me. And like I said, come tomorrow morning, I have nothing. I have nothing because Pablo is closed and I'm just coming to find out like, are we going to get a chance to open? Do we get a chance to come back? Do I get my job back? What am I to do? Like, I'm not here to bash anybody. I'm not here to talk wrong or talk down to anybody. As most of you all in here, y'all know me. I've been in Dalton for a long time. Like I used to do security for secrets. I worked for uh, the owner of Pablo's across the street at the store. Like security is what I can do with my situation other spots not to put nobody else's business out there it's not equipped for me to go in there because there's too much going on i can't deal with all that i'm not here to fight nobody i'm not here to pull guns on nobody i'm not licensed to carry a firearm so i can't deal with none of that pablo's is a safe haven compared to a lot of things that's going on like i know a lot of stuff and a lot of people went down Compared to a lot of things and a lot of businesses that's going on, we're kind of one of the safest places there. Some of you all have been up there, and y'all see that we run it. We keep it straight. We try to make everybody safe. Our goal is come in, have fun, go home. Okay. Sir, you've reached your three minutes. I just wanted to address you all for that. Thank, Thank you. you. Appreciate it. Welcome to Burgundy Blue Commentary. That was very brave for him to go on a public platform and share his story. I do not know anyone involved in this story. I just want to share that before we continue to listen. But I did find this touching. So this video is regarding Pablo's Bar and Grill. They are currently closed. They are on Sibley Boulevard. They're not far from Mr. Rinky's. We covered that in another video. But it was some stories in here I thought the public should know. So you guys, um, Pablo's has been a business owner for years. Um, we're going to hear some of the history from Mr. Pablo. We're also going to hear from more employees. And we don't know what's going on, right? We're just on the outside looking in. We want everybody to be safe. We want everyone to have a livelihood. And I wanted to share these stories because I do see a lot of coverage about the village of Dalton, but I don't think that people know, know these are real lives being affected. No matter if we do drama about it, no matter if we do um, coverage about it, like they say, a click in a view, these are real lives being affected. And these people 
need help. So I do know a lot of huge YouTubers have been coming to town. A lot of media have been coming to town. And I just want to share these stories because maybe, maybe someone out there can help the people who don't have a livelihood right now. But before we get started, let's go to Fox 32 to hear their perspective over there. After your story airs, that police are at both of these establishments. More controversy in South Suburban Dalton. Two popular bars shut down by police just hours after the owners talked to Fox 32. A village trustee also says it's because they're not financially supporting Dalton's mayor, Tiffany Henyard. Here's Dean Placa with the latest on the corruption investigation. Is it coincidence or retaliation? Both of the Dalton bars that were raided and shut down last night, we visited the day before as part of our ongoing investigation into allegations of political corruption in Dalton. They just rushed in here, put police at the front of the door like they was doing a raid on a drug house or something. A team of Dalton police officers raided and shut down Pablo's Bar and Cafe and Rinky's Bar and Cafe, both located on Sibley about a block apart. Everything going peacefully. Nothing going on. It's like 10 police cars came in and they start pushing customers from here. And he said, if you don't leave, we're going to lock you up. Employees and owners say it's part of an ongoing campaign of harassment by Dalton Mayor Tiffany Henyard that is costing jobs and money. Their here. business licenses have been stripped by Dalton, but they've continued to operate with a state license. I have like over 23 employees. They work from the local township. Now, end of the day, all the employees, they're going to lose them job. It's ridiculous. We all have mouths to feed. We all have kids. Um, they are not giving us no explanation. On Monday, we visited both Rinkies and Pablos to ask about allegations their licenses were being held up for political reasons. Then last evening, we broke the story that FBI agents have questioned at least a half dozen people, including business owners, a former Dalton employee, and an elected official as part of an investigation into Mayor Henyard. Less than two hours after our story aired, police raided the two bars. Someone seen you go in there, and then two hours after your story airs, that police are at both of these establishments. Dalton trustee Tammy Brown says she believes the raids are meant to send a warning to others not to talk. And she believes there's a reason so many Dalton businesses are having trouble getting their licenses renewed. I'm sure that they were asked to donate, make a donation, and most likely they didn't make a donation. So you don't get a chance to stay open if you don't pay, pay the Queen's ransom. Now, tomorrow evening, there will be a special public meeting of the trustees opposed to the mayor in which they plan to take action on the village's finances, getting access to Village Hall. They've been locked out and welcoming that investigation by federal agencies. Dane Placco, Fox 32. So that was a recent video article from Fox 32 News. So let's hear from another Pablo employee. Again, this was from a June board meeting. And they really came out to support one another at this time. Hello, my name is Andrea Thomas. I'm also security for Pablo's. Um, like my former um, security said that Pablo's is safe haven for all of us. I lost my husband four months ago. Um, we worked at Pablo's seven days a week together, front door, doing security. Um, it was hard coming back. But because we've gained a family with the customers, with security, um, it helped me grieve through my husband's death. Um, I have five kids. I'm a single mother. Um, I did it seven days a week. Seven days a week, Pablo also helped me do the funeral. Um, everybody that worked with me was there. They still there. I needed to help me grieve through all of this. Um, so we are looking forward to Pablo's openings, hopefully soon. Um, we need it. We we keep the customers safe. We keep ourselves safe. I look forward to go home to my five kids every day safely. So when everybody coming in, we make sure we do our job correctly because we are, our life is also at stake when they come in there. Um, my customers love me. <laughs> they love me up there. Um, they love my other security guards. We need it. We love Pablo. We are a big family up there, you know. And um, I could work other places, but I don't. I love Pablo. So I'm also a part of Casey's bodyguard security search and rescue. Um, so, you know, he helps. He comes up there, you know, help, 
he bodyguards me also because um my husband was killed, you know, and he was security. So um he helps me make sure I'm safe. You know, even though I'm security, I have security and I'm also a part of his security. So um we need it. Our customers call me all the time, asking when they open <laughs> because they, they don't want to go anywhere else. You know, they know that we keep them safe. They say every time we see you and your husband, we knew we were safe. You know, and he's gone now, so they still come up there and support Pablo. They love Pablo. Pablo is up there with us every day. You know, he's awesome. His team, our team is awesome. We need it. Thank you. Thank you. You never know what someone's going through. Now, I saw her in that Fox 32 uh, snippet, and I, you know, I didn't understand. I'm like, okay, she's security. Now that's shut down. She's going to be down for a little bit. That's it. Who would have thought that she lost her husband? Who would have thought she's a widow with five kids? Who would have thought? And it seems like such a sweet spirit. Finally, let's hear from Mr. Pablo himself so we can find out exactly where he's coming from it seems like he's been doing business in dalton for 25 years let's take a listen trustees residents my name is george messi the owner of pablo's cafe and bar located on 1115 east sibley just a little background i was the owner of dalton food and liquor since 1992 the store across the street from this village hall. Until 2017, I was in that store for over 22, 23 years. My record always been clean with the police department, with the village. I never had an underage ticket. I left that place in 2017, and I came back to Dalton in 2020 during COVID. I got my tavern license from the previous administration. So I opened the place on Sibley, and since day one, safety was the priority for that location. Every night we have multiple security. You go in, you leave, they search you every time you walk in the place. 2021, 2022, village renewed my license, no problem. I got my license first week of May. This year, I gave them all my paperwork in April. The license due April 30th. My liquor state license valid until 2024. My gaming from the Illinois Gaming Board valid until 2024. So I kept go back and forth to this village hall almost every single day. Mr. Freeman, he see me, he see my wife, we hear every single day, May, June, no answer. Right after 4th of July, July 5th at 6 p.m., the police came. They said, we have to shut you down for not having a local license. You have all my paperwork since April. I'm waiting on you to get my license. You're the one who's holding it. So I'm just asking the mayor, the trustees, Please, when can I have a definite answer to get my license and get this place back open? Between DJs, security, bartenders, we have over 25 employees that they depend on this job. So please, I just give us a definite date. I talked to Mr. Freeman a few times. I talked to the gentleman, Mr. Moore. They keep saying, they'll call you. Nobody get back with us. So please, we need your help to get this plaque back open. Thank you. There you have it, you guys. So it seems like Mr. Pablo know what he's doing. He seems like he already had went through business with the village of Dalton through several mayors for years, and he's still came back open another business only to be shut down like i said we don't know what's going on behind the scenes all we know is put out there you guys i did find out that pablo's has a lawsuits go going on trying to get their doors back open and it started in march 1st i believe and you guys just so you know i don't really delve into the deep dives of pulling 
um, lawsuits and things like that. Because I don't want to mess nobody up. So I'll leave that to the other YouTubers that do the investigations and things of that nature. But yes, he's trying to get his doors back open. And like I said, I um, am a, a person that's on the ground. I see what's going on a little bit. I don't know anybody involved. But what I want to say is these are real people lives. So as these huge media outlets come in and out of town, come in and out of Village of Dalton, come in and out of Thornton Township, please, please, please see if it's something you could do to help them. Like I said, I saw that young lady on TV as a security guard representing Pablo's. Never in my wildest dreams would I think her story is her husband got killed somewhere and um, they both were security guards and um, now she's a widow of five without a job and she needs her job. The same with the young man that started in the video. Um, like, I don't know these people, but just the fact that he's the head of security and he took leadership to say, hey, I'm going to go out, out there and put my business out there because not only do I need to feed myself, but I need to help help all the other employees that are suffering that's 25 jobs so you guys i hope everyone the board the trustees the mayor the business owners the community can work together to get this resolved and stay safe like you guys like i said dane you coming over here <laughs> dane placo come back over here and help them help these people and you guys my comment section is open i'm a small youtuber but i do know that a lot of people may reference my videos if you guys know of a way or if you know these people the comment section is open if we can help them if they have a link to their cash app whatever we can do to help them because i'm sure that mr pablo as well as mr rinky i'm sure that these owners because they don't have income does not have the ability to give them unemployment or anything like that i'm just speculating also we need these bars to open because that brings rev revenue back into the village on business tax right like mr rinky said himself he paid eight thousand dollars a month then you have the gaming then you have the um liquor license so let's see what can be done to rectify this right i really want everyone to get along and i want everyone to be safe like i said we don't know why behind the scenes they officially were able to put that clothes sticker on the door but i hope it wasn't any kind of retaliation that is bananas so you guys, let's pray for the people, all the people involved. You guys let me know your thoughts on this story. Like I said, I want an outside looking in. But this story, Dalton, the village of Dalton, it's a hot topic. So maybe if you share this video, it will get to someone that can help the employees. Like he said, 25 employees, no job. We heard from Andrea. She's working seven days a week at this place seven days a week so if it's somewhere or someone that may be able to reach out if they need the help no one asked me but be able to help them put the comment below or share this with those two individuals or mr pablo and see what we could do as always take care of yourself and each other bye